During my test at the Yorktown Memorial Hospital, I quickly found out how unreliable the Unitree Go 2's built-in Wi-Fi adapter was for remote exploration. Luckily, the solution was easy. I needed a wireless video transmitter and receiver. And what better transmitter and receiver than the one from a company that makes the best filmmaking drones on the market, DJI. With the DJI SDR transmitter and receiver acquired, and with a little jerry-rigging using camera mounting accessories, I was able to assemble a sleek rig that turns the Go 2 into the ultimate exploration tool. To test out the new rig, I went to the Atwater Prairie Chicken National Wildlife Refuge. I have no idea what a prairie chicken is, but the park is very beautiful, with lush prairies that go as far as the eye can see. Anyway, I started off the test by seeing how well the connection between the transmitter and receiver holds up when the monitor I'm using to operate the robot is inside a small structure. I also simultaneously screen recorded Unitree's app so you can see the difference between the transmitter and the robot's Wi-Fi network. Well, as it turns out, Unitree's remote controller, which cost a few hundred dollars, will lose connection long before DJI's video connection ever will. Once the robot is a far enough distance away from the controller, it will start receiving the signals at random intervals that will make the robot impossible to control, which can pose an issue if there are hazards nearby. That's why in the footage, you will see the robot start moving erratically. Unbeknownst to me, this video somehow turned from testing DJI's video transmitter and receiver to testing out Unitree's controller. I attempted this experiment again, but this time without any obstructions in between the robot and controller.
Unsurprisingly, the robot went much further, but ultimately lost connection with the controller when it dipped behind a small hill. The robot is obscured by the tall vegetation to the left, and I'm standing on the hill that caused the controller's connection to fail, and the wooden structure in the distance is where I was controlling the robot. All in all, I do think this was a successful test that showed the GoTo's limitations. If you use a video transmitter and are mindful of the controller's range, you can make up for its shortcomings. The ultimate test of my new rig will occur as soon as I can find another haunted building in Texas. As for now, until next time.